One of the main reasons for using a pressure reducing valve in your system is to reduce the pressure that feeds a combination bar mixer valve in a shower. There's the PRV. The PRV comes complete with compression fittings. Uh, you can see our web page on fitting compression fittings. Also take note, there's an arrow there for the direction of the cold water flow. There's the gauge that comes with the PRV. You'll see that being fitted in a moment. Identify the cold feed to the shower. And we're going to interrupt that cold feed once, feed once we've turned the water off. We're going to interrupt it with the PRV. You'll see that we've taken the pipes out and put two right angle bends there so we can go up into the PRV and then back down into the isolation valve. Before we fit the gauge, we're going to insert the little rubber O-ring to stop that leaking. When we turn the water on, and then that gauge is screwed into the body of the PRV. There's only one place the gauge can go, so don't worry, but do check your manufacturer's instructions. Tighten it up and make sure the face is visible when the PRV is installed. So we know because of the water flow arrow that the water is going to go up from the right angle bend, so we need to see the gauge facing us. Next, we're going to take the little cap off to double check that the adjustment valve is working. And that is operated by a hex key that comes with the PRV. It's dropped into the valve, self-locating, turn it clockwise to increase the pressure and anti-clockwise to decrease the pressure. Once we know that's free and moving properly, we can drop the valve into place. Double check that the water arrow, the flow direction is correct and insert the PRV into the pipework. Turn the cold water on and you will see in this case it immediately goes up to three bar and we know that's too much for a combination bar mixer valve. Inserting the hex key and turning it anti-clockwise will bring the pressure down gradually. We can actually watch it falling on the gauge. We're going to take it down to one bar, which is the recommended operating pressure for this shower. Once it reaches one bar, we're going to turn the water off and then on again to make sure that it's worked. It's on zero now, turn it on, and it goes straight up to one bar and no further. So there we have it, the PRV has now been set and we can remove the gauge. Having removed the gauge, the PRV is ready to go and there it is, fully fitted and reduced our cold pressure.